In this video, I'll be solving different equations on law of indices. That means I'm solving law of indices problem. Now, suppose you are given these three questions, of which I'm going to solve this question A and question B. Right? So, you should be the one to solve question C. So, drop your answer in the comment section below. So, now let's move. Let's see the first one. I'm having 5 raised to the power 2x minus 26 into brackets 5x, right, plus 25 is equal to what? 0. So the first thing I'm going to do here is as I'll check the one that I can re-express. I can re-express using the law of indices. Check the value that I can re-express. Actually, I can re-express this as well as 5. 5 raised to the power x all squared. If you recall that whenever we have a raised to the power m n, you can write as what well as it can also be a raised to the power m raised to the power what n, right? So I'm using the law on this. So here I'm going to have to be five raised to the power five x all squared minus twenty six into brackets five raised to the power x, right? Plus twenty five is equal to what zero. So I've recalled that this is what is this, right? So now I'm going to bring out this. I'm going to have 5 raised to the power x all squared minus 26 into brackets 5 raised to the power x plus 25 is equal to 0. Right? So what I'm going to do in this case is that I will go ahead and say let 5 raised to the power x equals what? P. If I put in P here, I'm going to have to what? P squared, right? Minus 26, this is P, plus 25 is equal to 0. Right? So what I'm going to do now is that I can actually, this is a quadratic equation. That means I'm going to factorize this. Then factorizing this, factorizing this I'm going to have to be P squared, right? Then this is minus P, right? Minus 25P, right? Plus 25 is equal to 0. Then I just have to form this like this. So now here I'm going to have this to be, that's P into brackets, that's P minus 1. Then here we have minus 25 into brackets. That's actually p minus 1, which is equal to 0. Right? So in this case now, what I'm going to do now is that here I'm having my p minus 1 and into bracket p minus 25. So here I can just say equals to 0. p minus 1 is equal to 0 or p minus 25 is equal to 0. Therefore, my p in this case will be equal to 1 and or my p is what is equal that's actually 25 right so i'm not going to stop here because that's not the final answer why because my p is something now i said let's my p if you recall from this my p let's my p equals to 5 raised to the x right so here i'm going to say at p equals to 1 when p is equals to 1 then here i simply have my 5 raised to the power x equals what? 1. So you can recall another law, right? Which is the zero law. That's whenever you have a raised to the power 0, is what is always equals to 1. Right? So here, the base here is actually 5. Then I'm just saying, my 5 raised to the power x will be equals to what? 5 raised to the power 0. Since anything raised to the power 0 is what is 1. Then simply this will cancel this. Therefore, my s equals what? 0. So now, the next case is that I can just go ahead and say, at what? At P equals to what? 25 again. So here, I'm going to have to be, I'm going to have to be, recall, your P is what? Is 5, I'm going to have to be 5X equals to what? 25. Right? So you can simply say, I can just have this word, 5 raised to the X, I can have it to be equals to what? 5 raised to the power 2. Right? So here, this will cancel this out. Then my S equals to what? Two. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 2, and also the value of s is equal to what? 0, as far as this equation is concerned. Then let's simply move to, what, to the second equation, which is 5 raised to the power 2x plus 1 minus 26 raised to the power into brackets 5 raised to the power x plus 5 equals to what? 0. So this is actually the same, almost similar with the first case that we solved. So now here I'm going to have to be. That's actually, I can recall, I can recall, right, that whenever I have 5 raised to the power, let me just say A raised to the power M plus N, it's still the same as writing what? A raised to the power what? M times A raised to the power what? 
n. So I'm going to use this law on this phase. So here I'm going to have it what? 5 raised power 2 raised to power x times 5 raised to power 1. This is my base a, right? Then m plus n, m plus n. So I expect that as this. Then this is actually minus 26 into brackets 5x, then plus 5 is equal 0. So in this case now, I can still recall again, recall that what? That's if I have, I can have, if I have a raised to power m, n, I can write as well as a raised to power what? m into bracket what? n. So I will apply it on this again. Then I'm going to have to what? 5 raised to power 2, 5 raised to power x, all raised to power 2, right? Then times 5 raised to power 1 minus 26 into brackets 5 raised to power x, then plus 5 equals what? 0. So if you look at this very well, I'm having 5 raised to power x, 5 raised to power, I can just say, let 5 is to power x in this case be equal, let me use t. Therefore, I'll have this word t squared, right? Times 5 minus 26t plus 5 equals what? 0. So if I simplify this word, I'm going to have 5t squared, right? Then minus 26t, then plus 5 is equals to what? 0. So now what I'm going to do in this case is that this, this actually, this, I'm going to you no know, factorize, I can factorize, I can simply multiply this 5 by what by this 5. That was actually 25, right? So here I'm going to have to what 5t squared, right? Minus, again, I'm going to have this to be what? That's actually, that's minus, let me say, t minus 25t plus 5 is equal to what? 0. So I'll factorize this using this word. Method again. So here I can factorize t out. I'm going to have t into bracket 5t minus 1. And this I can factorize minus 5 as minus 5 into bracket what? 5t minus what? Minus 1, which is equal to 0. So here my t minus 5, my t actually does minus 5 into bracket 5t minus 1, right? Is equal to what? equals to zero. So from this, let me just carry it like this. I'm going to add this word to be t minus 5 is equal to what? Zero or 5t minus 1 is equal to what? Zero. So here I'm simply going to have t to be equal to what? 5 or my 5t equals to what? That's 1. Then here my t equals to 5 or my t equals to what? 1 over 5. Then I can simply recall my t is equal to what? t is actually equal to 5 raised to the power of x. Right? So here I'm going to have it what that's actually at, at t now at t equals what five at t equals five I'm going to equate it that's what five raised to power x equals what five raised to power one so this comes to this therefore my x equals what one then the same thing at t equals what equals to that's one over five at t equals one over five right so what am I going to have I'm going to have to be what to be 5 raised to power x equals to what? 1 over 5. So I can recall again here that whenever I have a, whenever I have 1 over a, you see since I was writing what? a raised to power minus 1. So here I'm just going to have to what? 5 raised to power x equals to what? 5 raised to power minus 1. So this comes to this. I have my x equals to what? 1. So therefore, my s is equals to what? 1. And also what? s equals to what? Minus 1. So go ahead and solve this third one. Go ahead and solve it and drop your answer in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and comment what you feel about it in the comment box below. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. That's the really way you can support this academy. Thanks for watching.